All right, so we're testing the new Monster Bus Bars on the 45 amp hour battery made out of five amp hour cells. So we're at 14.63, 71 amps, 14.55. 14.6 Okay, 14.62 70 amps, 14.55 So 14.62, 70 amps Okay, so taking the data that we just uh, looked at we went from 14.63 to 14.56 and pulled about 70 and a half amps that has a DCR of 0 0.00099 and then on the second time we did it it went from 14.62 approximately to 14.55 again about 70.5 amps and the same DCIR um, just I also ran this exact same battery 45 amp hours with the small bus bars the small bus bars are this right here, they are inch and a half by 0.188 thick, and they had a higher DCIR, as you can see right there, of 0 0.0013 versus 0 0.001. And if you want to know how many volts or how many amps you'll get per one volt drop, so equal to one volt divided by the DCIR, and it gives you basically a thousand amps. So for every volt drop, you'll get, or for every thousand amps you pull, you'll get a one volt drop on this battery. And the other thing that I've noticed is that when I do car audio checks where uh, we have the battery running, if you go look at my 50 amp hour battery test, it went from 14.57 to 14.04 and it peaked out at 298 amps. Uh, when you run the calculation, you get a DCR of 0 0.0017, basically 0 0.0018. But if I were to do go pull this same test with the Kenthal wire, I would get a DCR that's about twice that because it's a constant current versus a pulse current. And this 298, some of it was supplied by the alternator. I don't know how much. So that kind of throws the calculations off a bit. And going and looking at the bus bars, the small bus bar, it can take about 1,200 amps, whereas the monster bus bars can take about 3,300 amps.